A never before seen police interview shedding light on a child abuse case that resulted in probation for the victim's father. It was back in 2017 when deputies arrested a Garland County man in connection to brain injuries found on his five month old son. Tonight, we're learning what he told police back then and what he has admitted to now. Fox 16's Tyler Thomason has the story. November 15th, 2017, an unemployed 22-year-old Clayton Renders describes his daily routine with his five-month-old son. Two days earlier, his son was here in the hospital, covered with wires and tubes, suffering from a traumatic brain injury, and Renders was a suspect. According to court documents, Renders said the infant had thrown his head back playing in a bouncy chair, went limp, and vomited. Doctors and detectives believed otherwise. Would you say you have a short temper when it comes to crying? I wouldn't say I have a short temper. It stresses me out. Arrest reports state Renders eventually admitted to shaking the baby when he gets angry. Renders said the baby had gone limp another time before. Did something say to you that shaking him or getting carried away with him would could injure him after his arm went limp that one time? Garland County deputies arrested Renders on a domestic battery charge. After more than a year of hearings and motions, Renders pleaded guilty and received five years probation. Hmm. There is some good news to report from all of this. According to court documents, the child is not expected to suffer long-term injuries or effects from this. Still unclear whose custody the child remains in today.